Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Ostro Engine Factory in Wiener Neustadt, uh, Austria. I'm standing in a sea of Mercedes-Benz OM640 engines, about 140 horsepower diesels. Mercedes makes about 1,500 of these a day and Ostro buys these engines direct from Daimler-Benz and before they can turn them into the A300 aircraft diesel, they have to strip a bunch of stuff off of them, including the airbox, the turbocharger, the alternator, the engine sump, all the stuff you'd cry if you had to buy over the counter, uh, the parts counter at Mercedes-Benz. And here's Peter Leitz of Ostro to tell us exactly what they put back on to turn them into the A300. So after the stripping of the engine, Austro engine starts to add the additional parts what we need for the aviation engine. First of all, the reduction gearbox, which is necessary to reduce the core RPM to an efficient prop RPM, which is currently maximum of 2,300 RPM and 512 Newton meter on the prop flange. Additional to the gearbox, we also add an improved high pressure pump, which comes directly from Bosch Elevation Technology, which gives us more reliability and the use and the capability to run the engine on different types of fuel. Also, Austria Engine has to develop a totally new engine harness, which meets all the requirements from the aviation industry and is lightweight. This, what we have currently installed, is the phase two engine harness, which is much more lightweight than the initial one and also much more reliable than the phase one engine harness. We also add a totally new turbocharger. The reason why we add this new turbocharger is we want to give more performance, especially altitude performance. And with this robust and solid turbocharger, we can run the engine up to 11,500 feet with maximum takeoff performance and also the high altitudes. The turbocharger, the wastegate controlled turbocharger, is a fail safe closed turbocharger, which allows us also, if the electrical system is failed, a maximum boost pressure of around 38 psi on boost pressure to the engine, which is important for hot and high operation and for high altitudes. So also the electrical system on the engine on the automotive side needs to be modified because we want to run the engine on 28 volts, which is more common in the aviation industry. For that reason, we use the standard automotive alternator to modify them to 28 volts. The same is for the starter. The starter is also modified to operate them with 28 volts on the aircraft system. On this side of the engine, you can nicely see uh, additional components like the Globular Control Unit. The Globular Control Unit is an in-house developed box which is necessary to assist the engine by starting in cold environmental. This allows us, allows us to operate the engine down to minus 30 degrees C out to the air temperature to start the engine. Additional to this, you will all see here on the top the propeller governor, which allows us to change the pitch of the propeller always in relation to the core engine RPM. All of this is handled by the ECU, by the engine control unit, which automatically changes the pitch of the propeller in relation to the core engine RPM by a small stepper motor. The governor by himself is a standard flyweight governor, but you know from all other engines in the operation. Also the sump needs to be totally modified because in the automotive industry the size and the shape of the sump was designed for the automotive application. In our application we need to meet the requirement for the aviation industry, especially the flying in the air, some special adapting from the sump and also from the uh, suction pipe from the oil pump from the core engine. The uh, initial engine from the automotive application has a maximum output of 140 horsepower. In our application, with different settings from the motor management system from the ECU, it allows us to operate this engine with up to 180 horsepower, uh, 170 horsepower takeoff performance by modification of the timing of the fuel injectors and by the change of the motor management system.